This is the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Signal Grim here and boy oh boy it's another Dark Metal Cards video. At some point I thought to myself, boy I'm really mil milking this artifact for reviews, but actually I'm not sure if that counts as that because I'm really enjoying this artifact. This has become my favorite artifact in just 2 Mobile. So we're going to try level 2 Dark Metal Cards on uh, Collector vs Superman here for the additional crit damage and guaranteed crits. This will be this time on him, we tried it previously with all blades on him. And keep in mind, the alternative to this was a level 10 all blades with three, uh, two epic damage on special tree and attack. And we did this comparison with King, but with King he was usually staying at three all blade stacks. But Collector for Superman, uh, his gameplay actually allows him to stay at four all blade stacks, so he in theory makes far better use of the all blades than King does. Though again, not that much because all blades is depending on his uh, base attack, so he's only three stars. This is the stats that we're working with currently. We got uh, fast actions, maxed, uh, not maxed out, but 69 is pretty much maxed out as far as fast actions goes, crit chance, crit damage, and uh, whatever attack we could get. I'm still missing one gear, boy, I'm so mad because on the main account I have no reason to build this dude because I got like Black Manta, and uh, I'm using Brainiac with Battle Who Fs nowadays. So he has no purpose without the Brainiac, but on this one I don't have anything to use with Brainiac, so he's gonna be the go-to. And on the other account I got him, I didn't gem refresh from either of them, but I got him 4 stars with all the gears on the other account, and on this one is only 3 stars with 4 gears. And we're going to use this Brainiac, which is a solid Brainiac. It's gonna be 6 stars, so the passive is maxed out. That's pretty much all you need to know, we're going to use uh, a level 3 God Killer on Brainiac, and a level 1 God Killer on Red Hood. And yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Okay, so you know that you guys always are complaining, oh no, Sigvald is always putting the fights that he puts in the thumbnail at the end of the video. Look, I'll cut you a deal on this one. We're going to fight a uh, horrific scarecrow with Collector Superman, then we're going to go over some fights against Enrage Bane, and he went down pretty quickly. And there's gonna be some Dark Metal Cards action in there too. And then we're going to finish it up also with the Character War Superman fight. So, I mean, you can skip at the end if you only want to see the Character War Superman fight. That's what a lot of people are doing anyway. You do, you might do, but I promise the other fights are actually worth watching. Using Special 2 actually to cancel the damage from the Super move. So, if your Special 2 is maxed out, it can literally deny all the damage from the enemy Super move. Because none of our characters would have survived this one because he's got that annoying passive that makes him deal more damage depending on how many power bars he's got Brainiac back in there, special one, and it could have gone better in terms of stacking the Brainiac special one faster, we, we could have gotten a better time on that one, but again we're gonna struggle with power generation with Brainiac because uh, we don't uh, uh, have uh, sort of salvation to generate power or any other sources like that, so it's just gonna be Brainiac's raw power. So we're at 8 stacks to get a decent amount of uh, time left. Re-engage the combo there, gonna back off a bit into another special one, there we go, we're at 10 stacks, we have Red Hood, he will eventually get tagged in there to um, uh, further facilitate our fight, because he'll extend the duration. We're gonna combo and chop here, this kind of sucks, because we're off the guaranteed crit area. This is the reason why you shouldn't remove your crit from the gears and replace it with... Uh, uh, attack because some people uh, had that idea. Oh, let's remove all the crits. That alone, that sequence alone of events there where we did not crit for a few seconds and now me pushing him to the corner, not having access to crits in those short moments of time will definitely not be worth the additional 2 or 3 attack uh, Rosie can get on the gears. Okay, so special 3 there. Would really love when the passive activates, keep in mind it's just 3 stars, so he's got a passive that might allow him to keep his combo after uh, performing a special, and that's quite useful actually, more useful than I thought, but at 3 stars is not gonna trigger that off, another special tree in there. And we're also dealing a pretty decent amount of damage on basic attack hits. I do have fast actions on him, so I guess the all blades were not really making good use of that uh, fast actions, so that might also be a reason, but as I said, the best we got with all blades ever, it's like... Um, uh, 36 mil, so that's the amount that we're trying to beat here. And it was pretty much a very similar fight as this one, and uh, we had the level 2 Dark Metal cards on Brainiac to guarantee us crits in that fight, and the uh, level 3 God Killer uh, on Red Hood and All Blades on him, so it's pretty much the same thing. I did not include that fight in this video because I think I put it in another video previously already, but just trust me on that, I'm pretty sick with the 36, so that's definitely the amount to beat here. And this, I mean, look, I... I I'm going from posting a video where I deal uh, 
2 billion damage in 8 seconds to d doing this, but uh, you, you gotta take a look at bo both sides of the coin, because a lot of people are not gonna have Beta Club, and regardless of the fact that people are gonna complain anyway about my Beta Club videos, I, I do care about people who don't have Beta Club and have limited resources, there we go, we're playing Collector vs Superman, the budget legendary damage dealer, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get another special train there. What I could have done in this fight is uh, let Brainiac take a little bit more damage, let Red Hood take a little bit more damage, with Brainiac is kind of iffy because you don't want him to die, I could have done a summon with Brainiac, but at the end of the day I'm not really sure how worth that is. So this was the Kalkar vs Supreme fight, so it's 41 mil, so it's already better than all blades, and keep in mind, that man was sitting on 4 all blade stacks, so he was having no trouble stacking that, he was actually doing a better job at stacking all blades in Kilmflant Sakomen. Okay, so here we're going to use Dark Metal cards, but in the ninja team, uh, it's gonna be just two annoying portions of this fight. When I use super move, because we need to get, take him all the way to the corner and he can back off into a special, that's gonna be obviously unblockable. And when he uses super move, because the same thing will happen and we'll get reset to the middle of the field. Look at him, look at him. Look at him doing it again. Oh boy. This is not a great start, I, I, I can tell you that much, this is definitely not a great start. Use a special too, that might have been a mistake if he decides to back off again. Though again, unblockable specials are not really that much different for the Batman Ninja team, because if we are managed to block his specials and we trigger special free for free, that's gonna be blocked by him, because that's how the free special freeze on Batman Ninja team work. That's still not gonna be a desirable outcome, another special train there, and boy! Uh, this dude, keep in mind that this dude does have a passive that makes him uh, more vulnerable to lethal attack hits, so that's gonna be a reason that we're going to deal a slightly increased damage with the Bad Ninja team. I don't think it's that big of an increase, it's like a 20% increase. I think the increase in lethal attack damage that we get here with the Bad Ninja team is going to be heavily counterbalanced by the uh, class advantage that he's got. I think that's why it's not so relevant on, on the Bad Ninja team, and this is the team that makes most use of lethal, or most times. Our special twin there, he's in the corner, this is where we want him, this is where we will deal all our damage, he's gonna sit on the guaranteed crit area, he's not gonna be able to use specials as long as we come and chop him, and our special twin there, 2 mil damage on the last part of it, that's what we like to see, doing one combo, doing a second full combo, you want 2 combos before a special tree, or the damage ain't worth it, Our special twin there, and keep in mind, the special tree actually slows down your... Uh, lethal attack damage stacking, because with every lethal hit you're going to stack some lethal attack damage. And so you do stack it with the damage on the special tree, but it's far slower than the basic attack hits, so that's why when you use a special tree and you should use it, because that's decent damage, you should make sure you make most out of it. And uh, do it uh, at peak performance. Come on, drop thing again. Into another special tree on a 40 hit combo. And an R2 mil on the last part of it, that's what we like to see. The damage with special tree is so fluctuating because you got like five parts of it that need to both crit and lethal for optimal damage. And we got guaranteed crits, but that's not the biggest deal because the lethal hits do so much more for us, especially in this fight, so it's still very luck reliant with that. Uh, that was a 1.8, I don't think I had full combo, I don't think that was uh, 1.8 without lethal, that's, that's too much. A special train there, or maybe it was, I don't know, but yeah, there we go, that's, uh, that's the, uh, Batman Ninja Catwoman fight. Now, I thought that it would take a while, I was like, okay, I have the League of Anarchy, this might deal like 200 mil damage, but boy, we're dealing far more than that, so keep in mind that he's got that, uh, uh though, I don't know really if it's because of that, because yet again, we have the, um, uh, class advantage against us. When it comes to Harley being agility, we're going to go with the super move here. So I'm not really sure if uh, we get the max out of that uh, lethal attack damage passive that he has, where he takes more lethal, but we do have some lethal attack chance on Harley. Not full, it's like a, it's like a half committed lethal build, because I got like 40% uh, lethal attack chance, and I got like uh, one common and one rare roll of lethal attack damage on all blades. So... Uh, that's not gonna be the most optimal thing ever, but I think it counts a bit. Or or maybe it's one of the more optimal fights you get lately to play with League of Anarchy, but... Nevertheless, the damage is gonna be through the roof and far more than I expected. Retro Batman in there tanking the super move. 
So yeah, I did something on my main account and I think I'll do that on the secondary account with uh, Predator Batman as I did on the main account with Arkham Knight Batman. So I have officially turned my Arkham Knight Batman into a full tank build. I mean, full tank build meaning that I got all his resistances on talents rare. Not gonna spend for epics because he doesn't need anything on talents. Like the best thing you can get once you max out resistances on talents on him is like health. So he's gonna be fine with rare resistances capping that. He's at 5 stars, so 5 rare resistances will almost take him to max. He's got maxed out defense from his passive, and I want, went full health. I went full health on the gears, and that man is an absolute unit. And I think I'll do the same with Predator Batman. Like, the thing is, uh, Arkham Knight Batman especially doesn't really need to be tanky, but at the same time I still had some fights where I worried where the enemy either had an armor pierce uh, super move, where uh, it would deal 100 mil damage, or the enemy uh, had that passive that increases their damage uh, considering how much uh, power they have. So I just wanted to be safe. I just wanted to not give a damn about any super moves in the game to know that that man can survive anything and I think we got to that point because he's got like uh, uh, close to 70 mil health, uh, 70k excuse me, 70k health and that gets pretty much doubled by the passive. So yeah, I think he's pretty safe from anything, and I think I'll go full damage on Prater Bat, uh, full tank on Prater Bat, and it's close to that, but I squeeze some crit chance and crit damage in there. But it's really not worth it, like, it's gonna deal some more damage when he's tagged in, but look, it's really not worth it. And also, I don't know about using Dark Metal cards on this Harley at level 2, it's most likely worth it, so I think I'm gonna switch soon enough to that from All Blades, and we'll see if we get the damage increase or not. Like, Harley is gonna heavily benefit from the additional crit damage, but uh, with all the characters that we've seen so far with uh, Barbar benefits from Dark Metal cards, they also had the added benefit that Dark Metal cards allowed their most optimal gameplay to take place, which is staying constantly in the fight. And yeah, 442 mil. I don't know where that came from. This is a garbage League of Anarchy. We only have like a level 1 god, level 3 god killer for the passive stats. I don't know where that came from, but I'll definitely take it. So yeah, as I said, with Harley, it synergizes very, very well with her stun passive, so when you get some attack from the other artifacts and some higher level Dark Metal cards, it's definitely gonna be the better choice. But I'm not sure if it's yet, because at lower level, she, as I said, she doesn't benefit from the optimal gameplay, because other characters can stay in the fight uh, forever if they want to, and they benefit from that. But uh, Harley's gonna tag in and out regardless of if she's got all blades because that's the optimal gameplay for her. So I'm not sure how much of a benefit that will actually bring to her. But yeah, we'll see. So yeah, we got uh, uh, the safe multiverse team. This is what I call it. Every single time I use multiverse team for cleanup, I put uh, multiverse super gun in there because her 50% damage reduction when we're low on health saved my ass more than one time. And we just don't need further damage, I think, I hope. It's it's just 20 mil. Come on, multiverse team, you can do it. I believe in you. Come on, chopping again. And yeah, a, a big mistake was no dark metal cards on Flash, but I was like, let's use God Killer because it will allow us to have more optimal gameplay. And it does. It definitely does. And I don't. We didn't. I was right. Eventually, we did not need that additional damage. So. Not sure if it was a mistake. So yeah, block disabled. Special train there into a jump attack. Three hits. And we'll eventually apply the burning effect. We, we kind of played around with the burning effect and did not apply it because he was not in the corner. That was waiting, waiting for him to do his super move. So we could get that out of the way. Okay, special one in there, flashback in. Come on, chopping again. Sigval, why are you combo interrupting with flash when you got the god killer? Because combo interrupting is guaranteed. Combo interrupting is something I have control of, not something that works like... 90% uh, of the times and sometimes it doesn't randomly work like the infinite combo flash with God here. I'm sorry. I'm just not doing that. I'm just not doing that. I'm just going the safe route, okay? You can definitely do the God here infinite combo though. It doesn't really work against every character. I'm not sure if it works against Enraged Pain because he's got a pretty fast opener hit. But that is definitely a valid strategy. Special between there, jump attack, three hits. Flash back in. Come on, interrupting again. Whatever summer spell back in for a sweet 2.5 mil to end it. And look, 
Like, Mario Wards are so crap that they don't even bother anymore to put in the timely. Like, Loka as we killed in Rage Pain. Loka has rewards in this video because you know that it's always gonna be garbage. You, you don't even bother to check at this point, let's be honest, guys. Okay, so now against Nightmare Batman, which is yet again an optimal fight. It's definitely an optimal fight because this dude is not... Uh, it's combo unchoppable and doesn't have pretty much anything that can put us in danger. It's got like some dumb passives like more damage from crits and or lethals or some garbage like that, bro. When it comes to enemy dealing more damage to you, if they have more damage, depending on the power amount that they have, you should be afraid, you should be cautious. But if, the, if there's anything else other than that, then it's chill, it's values that are not gonna really be worth even mentioning. Okay, so a special one there to get some power, Brainiac back in there. Using a special one of himself. I think we took longer in this one to stack with Brainiac because um, we took, uh, let's say, the safer approach to it. Come on, chopping again. Into another special one. Six stacks. Come on, chopping again. Into another special one. Seven stacks. We're gonna attack Electrovore Superman back in, and I wanted to do a special two to tank the super move, but I didn't have enough energy, so we went to a special one instead. Brainiac back in there with another special one. Yeah, went the safe route there. We're, now we're gonna tank the super move with his uh, special two. Okay, there we go, Brainiac back in there, special one. Electroverse Superman back in. Special three. Actually, I think I should have pushed him all the way to a corner and that special three didn't do anything anyway because it was not on the guaranteed crits area. Our special one with Brainiac, we're at 10 of them. And uh, we're going to stay a bit in here. And we're going to use the special tree because this will allow us to activate one of character Vert's uh, Superman's passives. And this is kind of the main difference between this fight and the fight that we did previously. That I did made an active effort to kind of activate his passive that gives him more damage if your characters get damaged and stuff. He's at three stacks right now. Red Hood will eventually get him one more stack. Come on, chop thing. Using eventually, I should use a special one here. Now I went to a special tree. Greedy the signal, greedy signal. But that was worth it because that was like 3.6 mil. Come on, chop thing again. So our special tree. Or eventually, eventually gonna tag Red Hood into acceleration of the fight. Just trust me on that, and I'll not forget. Okay, special one to hopefully steal power. There we go. It stole. Red Hood back in there. Come on, chopping a bit, super move, we're gonna let the Red Hood take some damage to further activate Collector for Superman passive, and he's taking his time taking damage, I think I should have removed all the gears to be sure that he dies. But yeah, now we're at uh, 3 stacks, and yet again dislodge from the corner, so that's not gonna be optimal. And look, in this fight I actually did for a very limited portion of it, I was just jumping around with Brainiac, jumping around with Red Hood using the... Uh, Brainiac summon. I did a lot of things but dealing damage with the Collector for Superman, but it seems that actually for the short periods of time when he was in the fight dealing damage, he did a decent amount because we got some similar amount to the last time. If I'm gonna give a, give a little bit of a spoiler there. And again, we would get crazy amounts from the passive that guarantees we keep combo. Not guarantees, but I think at six stars or something, it's like a 90% chance, which is far, far away from where we are. But boy, oh boy, I'm not spending. 200 gems to refresh for this man's challenge. I'm not doing that. But yeah, well, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, dislike it. If you dislike it, maybe hit that bell button for notifications. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. This is the future.